Hey guys, Andrew Steinmetz here, QAQC Manager for Genco Inc. with the third installment in my video series about the common code violations I'm finding on the job sites. So again, my goal will be to show you a few pictures uh, from the job sites and then go over the code and try to make sure you have a better understanding uh, of the code. And this time I'm going to stick with MC and go over the bending radius. I see this very commonly on job sites, uh, the over bending of MC, um, and we'll go over that so we can prevent a lot of warranty calls and a lot of issues down the road uh, with these over bending of the MCs. So again, let's just take a look at the pictures. So first one up we see here, and this is the most common case is that People are trying to bend this to get this into this first knockout instead of, you know, using a hole punch or whatever and just going up a little higher. So the bending radius is, is better. Um, they're just trying to bend it hard right into this first punch out. Um, a simple solution to this would just be going up, putting a loop into it and then going through there um, relieves all kinds of pressure, it's putting pressure here and putting pressure here um, over time heat, everything, this could snap. We could have issues down the road. We'll go to the next one. Again, right here, just over bending to try to get into that first punch out. Um, going over here and we just got too much pressure on there. Again, just trying to get into that first punch out. It's over bending, nice service loop, will will go right in there and, and relieve all that pressure it's pulling here it's pulling here you know it's just it's just way way over the bending radius um and and this is just unnecessary i mean we should be cutting all of these off we shouldn't have any of this sticking out um so let's go to the next one and here we have a perfect example of what could happen so this cable has uh, broken, come undone. And we've got exposed wires now. Uh, this is just well beyond the bending radius, and this cable just needs to be replaced now. Um, it's been broken and needs to be replaced just to get it through this first punch out. I mean, service loop go right out there. Again, this is just stretched and pulled and, and bent just to get through this first knockout. It's pulling out right here. Um, it's just a nice little loop and it's good. Same thing here, trying to get in that first punch out. So here is what is minimum bend, bending radius. The minimum bend radius is the smallest allowed radius the cable is allowed to be bent around. During installation, cables are bent or flexed in various environmental conditions. Cables are often bent around a curve in conduits or underground ducts. Cables are also bent when pulling a cable around a sheave, which is a pulley set up in a manhole to help ease cable around a curve. Cables are composed of a different component that may become compromised if bent too far and stress is placed on the cable. For example, while bending a medium voltage cable consisting of copper tape shield, the cable may form cracks on the outer jacket prevent cable damage, cable standards such as the National Electric Code and the Institute Cable Engineers Association form requirements for minimum bend radius. And this, I just wanna give you an example of what it looks like. So we got this access here and it shows the cable with an outer diameter of two inches. So what it is, is there's a multiplier. You take the diameter of the MC and you can find that on the MC package. The diameter so it's pretty easy to look up and find um and if you're using the same cable all the time but you know it doesn't hurt to go over i mean just put a nice big bend in it you don't have to get this exact but you know it helps the minimum bend radius is based on the diameter of the cable and the type of cable the following formula is used minimum bend radius equals cable outer diameter times cable multiplier so let's look, take a look at that so right here, single multiple conductors, cables with metallic shielding is eight times overall cable diameter. 
Um, and then it just tells you right here, 12 times for single conductor cables with shielding, multi-conductor cables with in individually shielded conductors, um, 12 times. So portable cables, many six times, uh, interlocked armor or corrugated sheath. So that's the one we deal with. So that is seven times. So right here, 300.34 conductor radius. Um, so that's what we'll go over, but that's how you figure the formula. So let's go ahead and go to right here, 330.24 bending radius. Bends in type MC cable shall be made so, shall be made, be so made that the cable will not be damaged. The radius of the curve of the inner edge of any bend shall not be less than required in 330.24A through C. So here's smooth sheath. That's what we've been using a lot lately. It's that new MC where it doesn't get stagged, you know, one way versus the other. It, it can generally go through the punch outs of the um, studs easier both in both directions. Um, but so smooth sheets, tens t 10 times the external diameter of the metallic sheet or cable, not more than three quarter inch in external diameter. 12 times the external diameter of the metallic sheath for cable more than 19 millimeters, 3 quarters inch, but not more than inch and a half in external diameter. 15 times the external diameter of metallic sheath for cable more than 38 millimeters, inch and a half in external diameter. Interlocked type armor or corrugated sheath. This is also very common when we use this is the older style one, seven times the external diameter of the metallic sheath. And then we got shielded conductors, 12 times the overall diameter of the individual conductors or seven times the overall diameter of the multi-conductor cable, whichever is greater. So and it's, it's right there. I mean, you don't need to do the math if you're just putting nice rounded loops in there and you're not putting too much stress on it. But I'm, I, I see it a lot on jobs. Everybody's just trying to get it right into that first uh, punch out on the stud. So um, just stick to this code, um, you know, don't overbend. And what I will leave you with today is a video, my video of a nice, clean, bend in the pipe and proper strapping here you go And there you go, guys. And I will see you on the next video um, where we'll go over the next uh, code violation I catch on the jobs. So see you next time.